This is R.D. Sharma solution, class 10, chapter 9, exercise 9.2 of arithmetic progression. So, the chapter uh, can be different in different uh, edition of the book, but it is arithmetic progression. For the following arithmetic progressions, write the first term A and the common difference D. So, the first term is always in all the cases is the first element. All these are first, first uh, term. And how to find the common difference? If I take this one, minus 5, minus 1, 3 and 7, you just have to take the second one, that is minus 1, and subtract the first one. So, minus 1, minus, minus, minus is plus 6, 6 minus 1 is 5. So, 5 is the common difference. You can check it for any of the consecutive values, like 3, minus 3 and minus 1. So, minus 1 and 3, what, I, what we have to do, take the second one and subtract the first one from it that is 3 minus minus 1 is 4 so here we have uh, this is minus 5 minus 5 plus 5 5 minus 4, 5 minus 1 is 4 so i just verified it and i found that it is 4 and 4 let us check it for 7 and 3 7 minus 3 is what it is 4 so everywhere you have to find like this so this is the common difference it has to come for every consecutive value the difference has to come same then only this uh, list or this sequence will be or this progression will be in arithmetic progression let us take one of these this fourth one so this is the solution of the first one for your reference because the first one is a like the second one is a plus d third one is a plus 2d next a plus 3d likewise it goes up to a plus n minus 1 let me write it here a plus n minus 1 into d so this is the uh, nth term so you can find out any of the term like this and this is how it goes so the first one is always the first term which is a and if you subtract this say a plus d minus a so a plus d minus a a, a cancel so d will come you can take it for this one also a plus 2d minus a plus d so what do you get a plus 2d minus a minus d a, a cancel 2d minus d is d so every time it will come as d 4 4 4 like this so let us take this one now fourth one this one what is the first term which is minus 1.1 so this is the a so the general series will be a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d like this first term is this one minus 1.1 so this is the first term how to find out the common difference just take this value the second value minus 3.1 and subtract the first value from it so minus 1.1 so this will be minus 3.1 plus 1.1 and this is going to be what this will be minus 2 minus 2 you can take any of this minus 7.1 minus 7.1 minus of minus 5.1 this is going to be minus 7.1 plus 5.1 and this is going to again be minus 2 so minus 2 is the common difference write the arithmetic progression the first term a and the common difference d are as follows now here the question is uh, the reverse of the first question that is here a and d is given you have to find the arithmetic progression so it's quite easy See, A and D is given. First term is what? A, so it is 4. Then the other term will be A plus D. 4 minus 3, that is, 4 minus 3 is what? Let me write 4 minus 3. Then A plus 2D means 4 plus 2 into minus 3. Then A plus 2D, A plus 3D now. Next one, 4 plus 3 into minus 3. Minus, minus 3, yes. So what will be this? 4, 4 minus 1 is 1. Then 4 plus 2 minus 3, 4 minus 6, this will be minus 2. Then 4 plus 3 minus 3, so this is this will be minus 9. 4 minus 9 is what? Minus 5. So this will be 4, 1, minus 2, minus 5, minus 8 like this. Let us take the last one. Here A is minus 1.5, so first is A. Then we have, we have to find out the series, so it will be A plus D. A is min, minus 1.5. A plus, D, A plus D is minus 1.5 plus D is minus 0 0.5. A plus 2D is what? Minus 1.5 plus 2 into minus 0 0.5. Likewise, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 5D, any, any number you, of uh, elements you can write of this series. So this is minus 1.5. What will, what will this be? Minus 1.5 minus 0 0.5. So what this will be? This is minus 1.5 and this will be uh, minus 2. This is minus 1.5 into 2 into 0 0.5. So this will be 2 into 2 into 0 0.5. So it will be 5 
this is one. So it will be minus one. So minus one point five minus one is minus two point five. Likewise, you will get the other values also. You just have to do a plus three d that is minus one point five into three into zero point five, and this this will be minus one point five minus three into zero three into point five is one point. So minus one point five minus one point five is minus three. In which of the following situations the sequence of numbers form will form an AP? The cost of digging a well for the first meter is 150 and rises by its 20 for each succeeding meter. So you have A, the initial one, 150, and the D is also given. That is, it rises by 20, 20 at each succeeding meter. So D is 20. So first is 150, then we have 150 plus 20 as 170. Then 170 plus 20 is 190. So it is a proper AP. So this is the condition. See, we have 150 as the A. A plus D is 170. Then again, this, this one is A plus D. A plus 2D is 170 plus 20, 210. So this is actually a sequence of number which is showing that it is an AP, arithmetic progression. Now let us come to the amount of air present in the cylinder when vacuum pump removes each time one by fourth of their remaining in the cylinder. So here, first of all, the amount of uh, air present in the cylinder when a vacuum pump removes each time, means if you assume that V is the initial amount. So next time, it removes V minus V by 4. We have to subtract this. The initial was V. Then 1 by 4 of V is removed. So what do you get? V 1 minus 1 by 4, that is V 3 by 4. Now, this V 3 by 4, so we have V 3 by 4. Now, 1 by 4 of this one means 1 by 4 of whole of this. V 3 by 4 is removed. So, let us take this V 3 by 4 common. What do you get? 1 minus again 3 by 1 minus 1 by 4. So you get V 3 by 4 into 3 by 4. So, this will be V 3 by 4 whole square. So, the first term is V 3 by 4 V, this one. Second term is 3 by 4 V square V. And if you do for the next time, that is again take 1 by 4 of this and subtract it. You will get 3 by 4 whole cube V. So, this is not an, this is, this is not an AP because if you subtract this and if you subtract this, you are not going to get the same value. But this is in J, GP. If you divide this by this and this by this, you are going to get 3 by 4 as the uh, you can say common ratio. So this is not in AP but it is in GP, geometric progression. Show that the sequence defined by a n equal to 5 n minus 7 is an AP, find its common difference. So we have a n as 5 n minus 7, 5 n minus 7. So let us take the, um, how do we find out the common difference? We take this one and let us take a n plus one one term, next term, that is 5, this is 5 n. So 5 n plus 1 minus 7, that is going to be 5 n plus 5 minus 7, this is going to be 5 n minus 2. Now what we, we do in common difference, we take this one and subtract this out of it. So 5 n minus 2 minus of 5 n minus 7. So what do you get? 5 n minus 2 minus 5 n plus 7. This goes 7 minus 2 is 5. So D is 5. Common difference is 5. Show that the sequence defined by a n equal to 3 n square minus 5 is not an AP. How do we find out that it is, it is not an AP? So what we will do? Same thing we are going to do. See, a n is 3 n square minus 5. How about a n plus 1? 3 n plus 1 whole square minus 5. I am just putting n as n plus 1. So this is going to be 3 n plus 1 whole square is n square plus 1 plus 2n minus 5. This is going to be 3 n square plus 3 plus 6 n minus 5. So this is going to be 3 n square plus 6 n minus 2. Now what we have to do to, in order to find out the say common difference a n plus 1 minus a n. So this minus this. So 3n square plus 6n minus 2 minus 3n square minus 5. So 3n square plus 6n minus 2 minus 3n square plus 5. Now this gets cancelled. You get 6n 
and here 5 minus 2 is 3. So 6 and plus 3 is the D. But if you see in all the AP we have seen D is always constant. The common ratio, the uh, common difference is always constant. But here this is dependent on n and n is a variable. n is a variable. So when n is a variable and you find out that d is a con not a constant value, then you can easily say that this is not an AP. So this is about this exercise. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.